Hey what's up guys this is Varun here back again with another amazing spark air video for you guys right now the most popular filters on instagram are quiz type filters and in that guess the gibberish is the most popular one and in this video i will be showing you step by step how to make that filter from scratch till finish so make sure you watch this video till the end and a huge shout out to Sahil Sangani for helping me out with this filter he is an Instagram creator. He's also made Guess the Gibberish Indian version. Do give it a try. I'll link that down in the description down below. With that being said, hit that thumbs up button and let's get started. Now before we start, let me tell you, if you want the project files for this filter, I have linked that in the description down below. You can get that template and follow along this tutorial. Now let's proceed with the actual tutorial. First of all, you need to have a folder containing the answer images, questions, a cover image and if you want to have a timer, the timer images and a time up image as well. And the size of all of this must be less than 5 MB. In my case, it's under 500 KB. That's pretty good. First of all, open Spark AR. I'll give the direct download link to the latest Spark AR Studio in the description down below and then just install it and upon installing it, click on blank project. Now here right click anywhere, go to add and select face tracker and right click on face tracker and select a plane. We will name this plane intro image. Now click on the plus icon beside materials. This will create a new material. Now name this material as intro material. Here click on choose file and select the cover image which we have kept in the folder earlier. Now we need to adjust the size of this image. I'll just pause this and use the XYZ arrows to control the coordinates of this image. And you can click on this square icon at the top to change the size of the image in X, Y or Z direction. I am happy with this size. Now we need to duplicate the intro image two times, one for question and one for answer. And rename these planes to question and answer. Now select the question layer and click on create new material. Similarly do for the answer layer. And it's a good practice to name the layers. So name the question material as questions and answer material as answer. Next we need to create new animation sequence of question and answer. To do that click on add asset and select animation sequence. Name the sequence questions and similarly create a sequence for answers. Now select the question sequence and click on choose file and choose the questions which we have kept in the folder earlier. Remember to keep the questions and answers in an order. I'll name this queue and now click on questions animation sequence and make sure you tick the randomize checkbox. Now select the answers animation sequence, click on choose file and choose the files of the answers. These are also in the order similar to questions. I'll name this A and now make sure you enable no compression for all of your textures. This is very important if you want to upload your Spark Air filter to Instagram. Now select all the materials and change the shader type to flat. And choose the questions material and under textures choose the questions sequence which we have created just now. And similarly choose the answers material and under texture choose the answers animation sequence. Next we need to create a plane for the timer. Just create a plane, resize it and adjust it according to your liking. I'll name this plane as timer. Now duplicate that plane and name the second plane as time up. For these also we need to create new materials. 
after creating the material just name them according to your planes now for timer we need to add another animation sequence to do that just go to add asset and select animation sequence name this as timer and select the timer images note that my eighth photo is named as t1 and similarly first photo is named as t8 you have to follow a similar kind of naming scheme to make this work i'll name this t now go to timer material and select timer animation sequence under the texture select time up material and click on choose file and choose the time up image now we are 50% done next we need to work in patch editor go to wave and select show or hide patch editor first drag the camera into the patch editor and drag the video recording node of the camera and leave it it will give you an option to search different patches here search delay and set the duration to 2 seconds drag the output node of delay and type not now we need to add the patches of all our planes to do that just select all the planes and click on the right arrow beside visible this will give us patches of all the planes first drag the output node of not to the input node of intro image next connect the timer and the questions to the output node of delay here we need another delay so just double click anywhere and type delay this will give us a new delay patch we will set this duration as 8 seconds connect the output node of delay one to the time up patch and one to the answer patch as we want them to be displayed after 8 seconds now connect the output node of first delay to the input node of second delay now we need to create patches for the animation sequences which we have created earlier to do that just select animation sequences and click on right arrow bes besides the current frame next drag the output node of delay and type pulse and drag output node of pulse and type switch drag the output node of switch and type loop animation i'll just change the pulse output to turn on of switch and now set this duration to 8 seconds because we have 8 seconds of the timer which has 8 frames drag the progress node of loop animation and type frame transition we will connect this to the input of timer sequence next double click anywhere and search for run time drag the output node of run time and type offset now drag the reset port of offset to the video recording node of the camera this will create a new patch called pulse between them drag the output node of offset and type less than drag the output port of less than and type loop animation here we will set the less than value to 3 Now in loop animation change the duration to 0 and drag the looped port of loop animation and type random here we will set the start value as 0 and end value as 6 because we have 6 questions drag the output port of random and type round drag the output port of round and type delay we will set this duration to 8 seconds Now connect the output port of delay to the input port of answers animation sequence. And finally just connect the questions animation sequence to the input port of round patch. And that's it. You are done. This might look complicated but trust me it's very easy. Just follow the instructions step by step. Now I'll just check for any errors that I might have made. Or oh, this seems good. To test this click on this icon at the left side and select send to app and instagram camera this will instantly create a new notification on your phone 
by clicking on which you can try this effect. As you can see this effect is working perfectly fine. This is the complete tutorial guys. Thank you so much for watching. So that's it for this video guys. If you have learned something new then do subscribe to the channel and give this video a thumbs up. This was one of the approaches for making this filter and if you want to know more advanced techniques I highly recommend a video made by Catalyst channel which I will link in the description. You can watch that later. And if you have any queries then do let me know in the comment section down below or DM me on Instagram or on my email. I'll definitely get back to you as soon as possible. And do follow me on Instagram. I post some motion graphics there which I'm currently learning. And until next time, stay home, stay safe and keep creating.